How do locksmiths make keys when a current key is not available? There's one technique called impressioning that we do. So whether you're curious about how it's done, or maybe you've got a utility box that you don't have a key for, or a toolbox, or a straight padlock, and you want to learn how to make a key for it, stay tuned. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith. You're watching Locksmith Recommended. How do locksmiths make keys without the original key being available? There are a number of things that we do, but what we're going to talk about here today is a technique called impressioning. It is an advanced technique. It does take a certain skill set, takes a certain level of practice, but if you're interested in doing it yourself, you do have a good shot at it. it just takes time and work like any other skill. So if you're looking to get a key made for a lock without a key, here's one way that we do it. Now we're going to be showing you this technique using a cam lock. This will work on many different styles of locks. But the hardest thing that you're going to have to do is figure out what key blank the lock takes. When you have a key blank, it's easy because you're making a duplicate. So you have the blank in front of you. When you don't have the blank, you have to determine what key blank the lock takes. It's going to be really, really hard to do on your own, especially because there are thousands of different key blanks. So if you're interested in trying this and playing with it, take that lock into a locksmith and he will get you the right key blank for the lock. He'll sell you a couple extra key blanks. You're going to need them if you're going to try this on your own. If you want the locksmith just to make the key for you using this technique, typical average pricing in the country, 30 to $35 plus the key blanks to do an impressioning. But if you're going to try it on your own, you're going to need the right blank. So you're going to need a locksmith for at least that piece. In this little clip here, our technician is just showing you that he's found the key blank and it does not turn the lock. Once you've got the right key blank, the first thing you're going to want to do is you need to file that key blank into a sharp point, kind of like a blade. And we just do that using a Pippin file. When filing, you're coming off the side. You're not going right directly on top of the key because again, you're trying to get that into a thin point. We go slowly across it until we reduce it down to a sharp blade like you see here. And once you have that key filed down, you're going to get yourself a pair of vice grips. Uh, vice grips work great. They also make specific tools just for impressioning, but vice grips, most everybody has them and they work really well. And you're going to insert the key into the lock and start twisting the key. What you're trying to do is you want the wafers or the pins in the lock to actually mark that blade you just filed down so that you can see where you have to make cuts in that key so that it freely turns. So use any technique you can on this. Twist it back and forth, shake it up and down. Do anything you can to get those marks transferred over to the key. Here's the result of the first impressioning on this particular key blank. And I've drawn some arrows here to help you see it because it's very difficult to see. There's basically three little marks on that key and that's where the technician's going to have to file that down. A lot of tips and tricks here. Different technicians do different things. A lot of our technicians will take a cigarette lighter and hold it below the key before they do the impressioning. So the smoke from the fire transfers to the key. That makes it a little bit easier to see where the impressions in the key are at. But that is what you're shooting for, marking the key so that you can then file it down and get a key that turns. Once you have those marks transferred to the key, you're just going to score it slightly with your file and shave it down just a little bit. You're not going to go too far because you're going to progress this and start with little depths and then put it back into the lock and take a new set of impressions to see if where you need to continue the filing. In this photo here, we've got a close up shot of his first set of filings and this is about as deep as you want to go. After that, it's just rinse and repeat. File down a little bit, get a new set of markings, file where the markings are. Here is the second set of markings, a little bit difficult to see, but primarily he's got some markings in the first and second position on this key. He's going to file that down a little bit more. And this is what it looks like after he's done his second filing, puts it back in, gets a new set of impressions, finds the new mark. And this is what it looks like after he's done his third set of filings. And here's what will eventually happen. You'll put the key back in to get a new set of markings and you'll find that when you're doing the twisting and turning, the key will actually twist over. 
and that's because now you're so close that the key will actually spin in the cylinder and you're going to look for a new set of markings fine tune the key just a little bit and once that key is opening the lock nice and easily you've got the cuts you need to make a fresh key for that lock now you don't stop here you don't want to use this key you don't want this key to be your main key because you filed it down it's thinner it's weaker so what you want to do at this point now that you've got that key is take it back to a locksmith or if you've got the tools do it yourself but copy that key that you impressioned onto a brand new key blank so that you've got a good strong key that works your lock and that's it that's how we make a key when the current key is not available so if you're going to try this and try to make your own key leave us a comment down below i'd be curious to know how it went for you or if you just thought that this video is interesting be sure to smash that like button let us know and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when new videos come out. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith. Thanks for watching Locksmith Recommended.